Hallelujah. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Mighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you, we honor your holy name, and we praise you so much, for there is none like you, Jehovah, in heaven and earth. Father, we pray that you may minister to us through this word, that your name will be glorified in Jesus' name. Give us understanding, give us revelation, open the eyes of our understanding and the eyes of our hearts. Father, that we may hear what you are speaking to the church in this hour. Mighty Jesus, we welcome your presence and we rebuke any spirit of confusion, distraction in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We glorify your holy name. This is the name of Jesus. We do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I thank you so much and I welcome you, all of you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Feel welcome in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Also, those that are watching in the online church, uh, welcome, welcome in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, we are going to read in the book of Luke, chapter 7. Luke, chapter 7. Luke chapter 7, uh, starting 30. <clears throat> Luke 7, yes, starting there, 30. Yes, we can read that. Aha, uh -huh. praise Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Uh, the Bible said this and all the people that had him and the publican uh, starting to nine, and all the people that had him and the publicans justified God being baptized with the baptism of John but the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the counsels of God against themselves being not baptized of him Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord bless his word. Uh, here we can see that in the ministry of John the Baptist, he was sent preaching the word of God and he was sent announcing the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. He was testifying, not himself, but he was testifying about Jesus Christ. He came preaching and saying that beyond the Messiah is coming. And he introduced Jesus Christ to the world. And when he was preaching, he was preaching the gospel of repentance. And he was calling people to repent of their sin. And even to be baptized. For the preparation of who was coming. Who was Jesus Christ. And then when he was preaching. There are those who received the gospel. The ordinary people, they received the gospel. But the church in that time, the church of the Pharisees and the Sadducees and those priests and lawyers, they did not receive the gospel. They rejected the gospel of John the Baptist. And the gospel of John the Baptist was the gospel of Jesus Christ. They rejected that Jesus, the Messiah, is coming. They rejected he who sent John the Baptist. And they rejected. And the Bible says that, that by the Pharisees and the lawyers, they rejected the counsels of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. They rejected the counsels of God, which were given through uh, the John the Baptist. And they did not even receive his baptism. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that the other people they received, but for them they rejected the Messiah. Jesus Christ is being rejected even today. Jesus Christ is being denied today. The title of the message is The Rejected, the, the, the rejected Christ. 
They rejected Christ, they denied Christ. So we can see that here, the, uh, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they have rejected the Messiah. He is coming and telling them that Jesus is coming, but they do not believe. Right? The same, same generation that we are living today, that they don't believe that Jesus is coming. John was assigned to them. Right? John was assigned to Nineveh. John was assigned to call people to repent. For Christ was coming. And behold, the Lord Jesus came. And when he came, he also was rejected by the same same Pharisees and the Sadducees. They did not recognize him. They denied his coming. They were even saying that this is not the Messiah. This is not the Christ. This is not the gospel. This is not the message. This is not the baptism. They rejected the counsels of God. They rejected the Son of God. Jesus even testified to them. But still they said that you are of the devil. How do you say that you are the Son of God? They say that they were still waiting for the Messiah. When the Messiah was right there with them, they were still waiting for another Messiah, for another Christ. Just like the way today the churches have rejected the coming of the Lord Jesus. They have rejected the truth. They are living as they are looking for another gospel. They have rejected the true gospel. But they are living as if they are waiting for another gospel. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, they were the Christians in those days. The churches that they were going was called the synagogue of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. That was the church. That was the church in those days. But how do you see that they reject Christ? Christ coming their church, but they reject. They even wanted to stone Jesus. They crucified Jesus. The same, same way that they did to Jesus. That's the same way they are doing to Jesus today. Because Jesus is the same today, yesterday, and forever. His gospel is the same today, yesterday, and forever. He is still the same Jesus they rejected. It is still the same message that he, they rejected. The truth is denied today. Jesus Christ is denied today. And they were Christians, but they did not believe upon Jesus. That is not a shock. That you can be a Christian in these days. You can be among the churches in these days, but you deny Jesus. You deny the truth. You reject Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That is the danger. The danger, the sad reality of our world today. The sad reality, the sad truth of our churches today is that they are saying they are worshiping God, but that God they have rejected. They are worshiping Christ, but that Christ they have rejected. They say they support the Bible, but that Bible they have rejected. They have denied the Bible. There is no a manifestation of their pages in them. That is the sad reality of the churches today, that Jesus Christ was rejected by the church, and he went outside. The same, same thing that is happening. That those that were invited, they were not ready. And he had to say to his servant, now go there outside and call those that are outside. Why? Call they that are there in the highways, they are the streets. Because those that were invited, those that were thought to be the bride, to be the church, they rejected the message. They rejected the truth and they denied Jesus Christ and his coming. Hallelujah. That's the truth. When we read in the book of John 5, 39, read in the book of John 5, 39, and you hear, as we continue, you see how Jesus Christ, our Messiah, has been rejected. The only truth, the only salvation, the only hope that we have. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. such, such the scriptures 
For in them, mm. John 5, 39. Yes. Such the scriptures. Yes. For in them ye think ye have eternal life. Yes. And they and they are they which testify of me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at that. This was Jesus Christ. Yes. And he was speaking to the same same Pharisees. When he was testifying, but they rejected Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. But Jesus Christ told them, and you have not, uh, and he told them that, okay. that nine, you search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. Yes. And they are they who testify of me. Mm. 40 say, and you will not come to me that you might be half right. Amen. Do you see that? Mm. That they search the scripture. Yes. They think that they will have right in the, 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 that uh, they will have right. Mm -hmm. But the same uh, scripture, it is where Jesus is mentioned. Yes. But they did not recognize him. Mm -hmm. They denied. Mm -hmm. Even today, go to Israel. Yes. There are people who still deny Jews. They are denying. Mm -hmm. They are denying Jesus. Yes. When you tell them that Jesus is coming, but that Jesus was he that was crucified, they don't believe. They will fight to you. Yes. They will criticize you, for they believe that he is still coming. He is not even born. They are still waiting for that Jesus to come in the first place, in the first place, or to be born. Yes. The Bible is saying, uh, Jesus Christ is telling them that they search the scripture, they examine the scripture, but in those scriptures they don't see yes. Jesus. Yes. That is dangerous. Mm. How can you have the Bible? Yes. How can you read the Bible, but you don't see Jesus is there? You reject the truth, but the truth is what you are reading. <laughs> Jesus stands before them, but they do not recognize him. And Jesus is mentioned in the, in the scripture. Yes. When we read in the book of Isaiah, Jesus is mentioned there, that there will be born a, a, a child, and, his name, and the government shall be given upon him, and he will be called the mighty God, Prince of Peace. <coughs> He is written over there that how he would be born, how he will, he will go through the, the persecution. He is written in the scripture. He is written even in the law. But the, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, they still reject, they still deny that this is the Messiah. True. Jesus Christ uh, is, say, is saying to them, you search the scripture, for in them you think that you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. You can search the scripture, but then you run to see the kingdom of God. Yes. Because you search the, the scripture, but the scripture is, is not in you. You don't believe the scripture. There are people who search the scripture. I have seen even the Muslims, they search the scripture. When you go to them, they will criticize you with the, your Bible. They will fight you, they will oppose you with the same Bible that you read, and they will contradict the scripture. For they search the, the, the scriptures to fight against the truth. Yes. You can search the scripture, you can have the Bible, but then you end up in hell. Why? Because you don't believe the word. Yes. You don't believe the scripture. You don't believe the gospel. Yes. That's why the word of God says that let us not become here only that we deceive ourselves, but let us become doer of the word of God. Yes. For the, 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 the Sadducees and Pharisees, they were just read, read us and hear us, but they were not the doers of the word of God. Yes. They didn't believe on the word of God. Mm -hmm. They didn't practice the word of God. Yes. And that's the same thing with the church today. Mm. They are just readers, they are just examiners, but they are not doers and practice, uh, practicing the word of God. Yes. That's why God is saying to us even today that let us not become just hearers. Let us not just become people who are Googling and examining the scripture, but let us practice the scripture. Yes. Let us believe the word of God. Yes. Let that scripture be written in your heart. Not to be written in the Bible, in the books, mm. but let it be written in your in your heart that you may practice what the word of God says. Yes. And Jesus Christ is rejected mm. because the devil is using the Bible, the scripture, to fight against us. Yes. The people that fought, the devil was a, an angel. And he knows the scripture from uh, Revelation to generation to Genesis. He knows the scripture. Yes. You cannot defeat him in the argument of the scripture. 
That's why we are told, let us not argue on or over the word of God. Yes. When you see that somebody has a mind of argue, arguing with you, stop with him. Praise Jesus Christ. Yes. We cannot strive, or the devil know how to strive with the scriptures. Yes. He know from Revelation to Genesis. So you cannot defeat it. He know. He was telling Jesus, it is written that you can do so and so. So you can throw at yourself. The devil knows the scripture, and the people who have fallen from the grace, like the devil, they also use they also uses the scripture to fight against the truth. Yes. They are also being raised by the devil with the scripture, and they are naming themselves after pastors, and they are opening the church, but they are the foreign like Lucifer, yes. using the devil to fight the truth. Where well, you tell people there is the Holy Spirit, they tell people there is no Holy Spirit. Where well, they tell people where well, the Bible says that there is baptism, they tell you that no baptism. Yes. Where well, the Bible says that Jesus is coming, they tell you that Jesus has already come. Mm -hmm. They are using the same scripture to fight the truth. Yes. Just like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were using the same scripture to fight against Jesus, to persecute the prophets and to kill the disciples. Yes. May God have mercy upon us. For the Bible is saying and clearly saying unto them, they know how to search the scripture. For in them, they think they have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. But therefore, they reject Jesus. They do not come to Jesus for them to have their eternal life. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And Jesus Christ told them, Now, what's wrong with these people? That they do not believe me. Mm. They do not believe me. But the simple people believe Jesus. The simple people believe Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The wise people, the lawyers, the wise men, the scientific and those who have studied and they have said that uh, there's no uh, book ahead. Those people, they reject Jesus. Yes. They don't believe him. The same way that the wise men, the lawyers, the priests and the Sadducees, they rejected Jesus. But I tell you, the humble, the unrecognized people, the ordinary people, yes. they knew this must be the Messiah. The prostitute woman, mm. she said that come see a man who have told me everything. Mm. Come see, this must be the Messiah. Mm. The ordinary people, the prostitute, the thieves, they have known Jesus. Mm -hmm. They have accepted him. Mm. They have been revealed. Mm -hmm. But those that think that they are wise, yes. they have rejected and denied the only Messiah. Yes. Sure. The same thing that happened to the gospel. Mm. Look who are they that are accepting the gospel of, of God today. Yes. They are those that we call the ordinary people. Those that we call the rejected people. Those that we call the people that who do not have the knowledge of the scripture. But they accept the truth. Those people that are learned and wise, they have the eye, but they don't see. They have the ears, but they don't hear. Mm. But the people who are just simple and humble, they have the eyes and they can see that surely these are the days that Jesus is coming. Yes. You hear them saying, for sure, even if I am not born again, even if I am not a reader of the Bible, the things that we are hearing, ah, we must be on the, in the end time. Jesus must have been coming. But those people, they don't have the knowledge of the scripture. They are not even born again. But they can, they are convicted that these are the days. But those that are in the church, they are not convicted. Yes. May God have mercy upon us. Amen. That's why the scripture says that they, 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 and you will not come to me that you might have right. Hallelujah. Amen. When we continue from there, we read even John 14. John 14 from 11. You will see Jesus Christ is now telling them, Now, can't you believe now the things that I do? For seeing that you don't believe the scripture. If then you deny the scripture, then can't you believe the things that I do? John 14, 11, 13. Believe, believe me that I am the Father, 
Believe me that I am in the Father. Mm. Believe and me that I am in the Father. And the Father in me. And the Father in me. Or else believe me for the very work's sake. Or else believe for the work, very work's sake. Believe for the very work's sake. Very, very, I say unto you. Hallelujah. He that believeth on me. Yes. The works that I do shall he do also. Yes. And the greater works than this shall he do. Amen. Because I go unto my Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Says, you see Jesus saying, yes. that believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the works very sake I do. Yes. For now they are asking for the signs and miracles. Mm. They have failed to, to they have failed to believe the scripture. Yes. But they cannot believe in the signs. Mm. Because if you fail to, to believe the scripture, even the signs you cannot believe. Yes. And Jesus Christ, he reached a point and he told them that you ask for a sign. Uh -huh. But there is no other sign that I'm doing. On the, the, the side of Jonah, yes. like how he was in the three days. Mm. Also that is a sign, a sign of repentance. Yes. That's the only a sign. Yes. A sign to repent. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So you find that they have not believed the signs. They have not believed the word that we are reading. They have not believed the scripture are being fulfilled in this end time. The Bible says that just as it was during the days of Noah, so it shall be even at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just as it was during the days of Noah, during the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. So it shall be even at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So believe the signs that we are seeing. They have not believed the scripture. Now let them believe the signs that we are seeing of our days. Let them believe the works of the devil that we can see that the devil is now doing. And know that now the time is nearing. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is coming. He said that when you see those things, you need to you need to set your eyes on Jesus. Because your days will be running short. Hallelujah. Amen. That's that's the truth. That now let us uh, let, let, let us now look at the work if we don't believe the scripture. Because right now, as I told you, that we don't need even to read the Bible to know that we are in the end time. We don't need to read the scripture to know that we are in the end time right now. Because we can see now with our own very eyes. We can hear now with our own ears. The things that are happening, they are showing us that we are in the end of the time. Praise Jesus. That's why Jesus is saying that believe, believe now, believe now. In now in the work, he said that the works that I do, and and he said that believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Yes. But the Pharisees they did not yet believe on him. Mm. They still continued uh, to fight against him, yes. to oppose, to deny the truth, to reject the word. Because there was something that was bribing them. Yes. They rejected and they denied Jesus Christ. Praise Jesus. Amen. That is the same way that is happening even today in the church. That the Messiah Jesus, the true Jesus, has been rejected and be denied. When you preach the true Jesus, yes. people will reject that Jesus. Sure. They want to hear Jesus of the world. Yes. Jesus, that Jesus of homosexual. Mm. That Jesus of homosexual, that is the, the, the one that they want to hear. Mm. Yes, where homosexual, you find that the, the church where the, they are being united in the church. <coughs> huh? That the pastor there is uniting the two, two men to work together. And he's uniting them in the name in, in, of Jesus. That is another Jesus that is being preached. Yes. That is not the same Jesus, that the same Jesus that was preached. By the prophets and the disciples. Yes. For the same, for that Jesus rejected what they were doing. He called that abomination. Yes. But for them today, they are receiving that Jesus which is supporting gazing. 
which is supporting homosexual, which is supporting new detain, new detain the church, which is supporting immorality. They are rejecting the true Messiah and they are receiving the first, the first the Messiah. Yes. The first the Messiah. Yes. We need to, to believe the scripture mm -hmm. and to believe the word of God. Yes. For the, the true Messiah has been denied by the church. The true Messiah that did not uh, allow a divorce. That is the Jesus that they have, been, they, they, they have been rejected today and denied. That you find now that the church is full of divorce and remarry. That you, be more, you divorce and you remarry, you divorce and remarry. You find that the pastor is marrying each and every year he's marrying. And saying, oh God has told me now. now what is that? What is happening? That is not the same Jesus who said that anyone who divorces his wife and go and marry another. He commit adultery. That's not the same Jesus they are preaching. For Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The book of Hebrew. He never changes. His word is still the same. But those people, they are changing the scripture today. I saw another one now. He is a preacher. He is a pastor. And he said that God has, uh, uh, has told him to take a, a, a wife of, of a member in the church. Yes. And they marry. They even do a wedding. Yes. And you see, he has, he has his own wife. But he see another one because of wrath and say that God says, that says God, that uh, you are my wife. I will marry you. And they take. And the people are still following him. Uh -huh. Without answering. Without questioning. That is not the same Jesus. They have rejected and denied the same Jesus. They have rejected the truth of the scripture. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. That is Jesus Christ rejected. That is the truth the Messiah denied in the altar, denied in the altar that there is no righteousness there is no holiness there is no fear of God in the church the Jesus they are saying they are preaching it is another Jesus the gospel they are saying they are preaching it is another gospel it is not the same same gospel that was preached by the disciples and by the prophets it is not the same same gospel that they were killed for if they would have killed that, if they, are, they would have preached the gospel that is being preached today, they would, they, they, maybe they would still survive today. Yes, they would die of old age. Nobody would, would, would persecute them. Nobody would kill them. But because they preached what they did not want to hear, they were slaughtered. Yes. They were beheaded like John. Yes. For they spoke what they did not want to hear. They called adultery, adultery. Yes, yes. They called nudity, nudity. They called immorality, immorality. Yes. They rebuked sin. Yes. That's why they were persecuted and they were killed. For they did not withhold anything. Yes. Then you tell me that, ah, we are still also preaching the gospel. Which gospel? Mm. Which gospel? If you are not rebuking sin. Mm. Which gospel? If women that are preaching there, they are still preaching in ministers. It even throws us. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. The church is not the way it was meant to be. Mm. It has been changed totally. Yes. Totally. Mm. From leadership, it has been changed. Yes. The church of Jesus Christ was not led by women. Uh -huh. The church of Jesus Christ was led by men. Yes. For Jesus said, and the scripture say that the men they are the head, yes. but the churches today, men are the neck. Uh -huh. They are down, and women are on top of them. Sure. They have become the leaders. Mm. They have become the teachers. They have become the pastors. Sure. And Paul, the apostle of the church, say that it is not allowed for you. Either it is not allowed for you to take authority. A woman is not allowed to take authority to assert authority over a man. Yes. But look at the church today. They are the so-called and there are very many that they have opened the church and saying, Oh, God told me. Oh, God has spoken to me. Which God? 
Is this the same God that told Paul that a church should be led by a man? Is this the same God? Because why is it that you are saying God is saved? But when we come to the scripture, that God is opposing the scripture. Does God ever contradict the scripture? No. God has never contradicted the scripture. God has never contradicted the scripture. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But they want to allow worldliness to allow things that are not in the scripture. Sure. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ has been rejected mm. from marriage to the church. Yes. Jesus Christ has been rejected. Mm. And we shall see what they are doing. They are perverting things. Mm. What God is saying that you should do, mm. they are saying that you should not do. Mm. What God is saying that you should not do, they are saying we can do. Can do everything. We can wear everything. What a man can do, even a woman can do. Yes. That's not the authority from God. Sure. That's not the instruction from God. Yes. That's from the devil. Yes. For, for what a man can do, a woman cannot do. Mm-hmm. But they are doing today. Yes. And what a woman can do, a man cannot do. Yes. That's right. Mm-hmm. A man cannot give birth. But they are giving birth today. Yes. They are going and they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are being given pregnant. They are being uh, done a practice surgery mm-hmm. to become like women. Mm-hmm. Perversion. Perversion. Mm-hmm. Because they have rejected the truth. They have rejected the Messiah. Yes. And so, they are forming their own instructions. Yes. Their own doctrines mm-hmm. to pervert the world. Sure. Everything that is perverted is of the devil. Yes. Everything that is perverted is of the devil. Mm. God is a God of order. Yes. But the world today, the church today, do not have any order. Yes. That's why the Holy Spirit came to give the church the order. Mm. That when the church is going out of the world, the Holy Spirit should lead them, should tell them, go back to the order. Yes. And that order is go back to the word of God. Mm. Reflect back to the word of God. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, they have, they have de- denied the scripture mm. and they have rejected his counsel. Yes. Just as how it says that the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they rejected the counsels and they did not receive even the baptism. Mm. For they thought that they, were, they, were, they did not need it. They did not need it. Mm. They thought that they were whole, they were complete, but they did not know that they were poor, rich, and naked. Revelation says that they think that they are rich, but they are poor. They think that they have attained, but they do not have it. They think that they are covered, but they are naked before God. Why? Because they have rejected the Messiah, they have rejected the truth. Praise Jesus. Amen. Let us read in the book of John 3.19. John 3.19. You see why? Why they are rejecting his coming? Why they are rejecting the Messiah? Why they are rejecting the truth? Why is it that they are rejecting the truth? And this is the condemnation. And this is the condemnation. That light is come into the world. That light is come into the world. And men love the darkness. And men love the darkness. Rather than light. Rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. Because their deeds were evil. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is the condemnation. That means that is the judgment that men love darkness yes. more than light. Why do, do they love darkness? Because their deeds are evil. Yeah. Why have they rejected the truth? Because their deeds are evil. Yeah. Why have they rejected the Messiah? Because their deeds are evil. Yes. And they are walking in darkness. Yeah. That's why they reject the truth. That's why they reject the, 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 the word of God. Yes. For they are living in sin. Yeah. If somebody lives in a sin, if they don't re- uh, receive the truth, they reject because they know they are living in that thing. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That's the reason why they are rejecting Jesus, why they are, uh, they are denying Jesus. And they thought that they were still for, for, uh, Christians, but they are the Antichrist. People who oppose Jesus. Look at Paul when he was sour. When Paul was sour, 
He was a, a, a Pharisee. He was a, a Pharisee. He was a Pharisee also. And he was a Sadducee. And he was also a somebody of Rome. Hallelujah. Amen. But he persecuted Jesus. When the light of God shined upon him, power was bright. Hallelujah. Amen. But the light of God shone upon him. And from that time, the voice of God came and was heard and he was told by God, Saul, Saul, why, why, why do you persecute me? Do you see? Why do you persecute me? But Paul thought he was obeying the rule. He thought that he was doing what was the traditional of his religion, of the Sadducees and Pharisees. To fight against the Christians. To fight against those who believe on the Messiah. Hallelujah. Amen. But then he had a voice that why does, do you persecute me? Why do you persecute me? How? And he was fighting against uh, 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 the, 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 the truth. That's the same thing that is happening. They are persecuting Jesus. When you refuse the truth, you persecute Jesus. When you deny Jesus, uh, the truth, you persecute Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. When you hate the truth, you persecute Jesus. It is not people. It is not we. Yes. It is Jesus that is being persecuted. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And Paul thought that he had, he had a right doctrine. He had found a right religion. But he was actually going to hell. Where is Jesus Christ? Amen. Jesus Christ is also speaking to us even today. And he's telling us that let us be aware that there are those people that are fighting the truth. There are those people that are persecuting the truth. That's why Jesus told us that you are like who are sheep among the wolves. So be wise. Be wise when you are out there. Because they are people who we persecute. That's why today there is persecution. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. That when you are a woman, when you are a, a man, when you live according to the word of God, the number one people that persecute you, they are Christians. They are brothers and sisters who are named Christians. When you believe Jesus Christ, and when you stay like the scripture says, or like the word of God says, they persecute you. It tells you now you have joined a cult. Now you have gone to a devil worshiping church. Now you have gone to a cult. Because you are now dressing well. You stop dressing in many skirts and in nakedness. Mm. Now you are dressing well. You are covering. Do you see what they are doing? Yes. That woe unto them who call if for good. Yes. They pervert thee. Yes. When you cover yourself, they call you you are a witch. You are a witch. Because you have covered yourself. When you are doing right, you are told that you have fallen in a cult. Oh, Jesus. Amen. That's the problem with this spirit. They are confusing people. They are confusing, confusing people that people, they don't even know what is right and what is wrong. Praise Jesus. Amen. Because Christ, our Christ, has been denied. The truth has been denied and rejected. That people think that this is the truth and this is a lie. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What is a lie? They call it truth. The false prophets that are being manifested, that people are seeing. Yes. Even the people of the world, they can say, ah, this is a false prophet. But they believe them. They say, no, don't touch the anointed one. But they are being manifested, they are false, and their works testify. But they still believe them, they still follow them. They are being raped, but they are still following them. They are being uh, robbed, but they are, still, they are still following them. Why? The spirit of confusion that makes people to deny Jesus and to accept that man that was called uh, Bar Bar Barabbas. Barabbas. Barnabas. 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 They said they want Barnabas. 
But for Jesus, let him be crucified. Let him be prisoned. That's how they have, they have, they have done even today. They have rejected Jesus. Jesus be crucified. Let him be crucified. Let him be prisoned. But the Barnabas be opened, be released. That's what is happening today. They are supporting the evil people, but they are fighting against the righteous people. Hallelujah. Because the devil has blinded them that they cannot see the light of the truth. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 4:4. I will say that they hate the truth because they are that are, are evil. That's why they hate righteousness, they hate holiness, they hate the scripture. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 4. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them. In whom the God of this world. In whom? The God of this world. The God of this world has brightened the minds of them. Yes, has brightened the mind of them. Which believe not. Which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Of Christ. Who is the image of God. Who is the image of God. Should shine unto them. Should shine unto them. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you see what is that thing that is fighting against the truth? Yes. It is this God of the world. Mm. And this God of the world is the God that people are preaching, the God that people are worshipping. Mostly, mostly, they are preaching the God of the world. Yes. The God of the world. Mm. The God of the world that do not see sin. You, see, you hear them prophesying. Yes, that I can see that you're going to be rich. That this year you will not pass. You will, you, you will have something. You will touch a million. But they, that God of the world do not they are seen. Somebody is sitting in immorality, sleeping in immorality, but they cannot see that you are sitting, you are uh, eating in immorality and drinking in immorality, but they can tell you that you have a million. Mm -hmm. The God of this evil world is prophesying to them the things that they want to hear, but he is not leading them to truth. He is not telling them the truth. That's the God that the people, most the people are preaching. The God of this world that just preach about prosperity, money, uh, fame, uh, things, and all worldly things. Yes. But he will never tell you to repent. Mm. He will never tell you to change. He will never tell you to come to Jesus. He will never tell you uh, to deny the world. Uh -huh. He never tell you. Mm. And he claimed that he is coming to deliver people. He claims he's coming to deliver people that you see that, that that church that people are being delivered. Mm. It is a deliverance church that all oh, people are being delivered in and every day. But nobody is being delivered in, from immorality. Mm. Nobody is being delivered from nudity. Nudity. Mm. They are still nudity. Even, even the wife of the pastor is nude. Mm. But they are not delivered. They don't see those little demons. Mm. They see large demons. Mm. The right demons. Where is Jesus Christ? Amen. The God of this world is not seeing that. Mm. They are not even calling people to repent us. Yes. In those most of ministry, you will not hear them uh, leading people to repent us. Yes. They assume that all people are born again. Mm. That when you just come in, then you come in, whatever that you, you, uh, you, whoever that you want, they will not tell you to be born again. They just cast out the demon and tell you now go. It is over. But you hear those people are not born again. And they are not leading them to Jesus. Yes. The God of this world mm. cannot lead people to Jesus. Yes. Cannot lead people to the kingdom of God. Yes. That's why they lead people to the world. The things are the kingdom of this world. Yes. They will never tell you to repent. They will never tell you to confess your sin. They never lead you to righteousness and holiness. Mm. Those are the gods of this world. We have blinded the mind of many people mm. that they have rejected the truth. Yes. They try to tell them the truth. They say, no, our papa, oh, our bishop, oh, our church. Mm -hmm. The God of this evil world yes. has prided them. All they speak is our, mm -hmm. our, our. Ah, I belong to the Catholic. Mm -hmm. I, I belong, I belong. Mm -hmm. That is the religion that they have. Mm -hmm. That is the title they have. They defend themselves mm -hmm. with those titles. Yes. The God of this evil world mm -hmm. has prided many people mm -hmm. that they have rejected the true Messiah. Mm -hmm. Praise Jesus. Amen.
Hallelujah. What, what, what does it matter? It doesn't matter which church you are. Uh-huh. That's when you go to preach it to somebody tell you, ah, ah, I am, I am. That thing irritated me so much. Uh-huh. That when you go to share the word to somebody, he tells you that, ah, you know, I, I belong to church so and so. So what? So what? Is that a, 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 a passport to heaven? Yeah. That is not a passport to heaven. Yeah. They say that to defend themselves. Mm. That is the evil God of this world that is leading them to defend themselves with those things. Mm. Praise Jesus. Amen. Let us think and, uh, 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 and, and be in the scripture rather not, rather not uh, be in the, the religion. religion. That is the religious spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. We see that they are braided, and that's the spirit that is braiding people. The Bible says, it says, mm. in whom the God of this world, in whom, uh, we start to read, uh-huh. but if our gospel be hid, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have braided, in whom? The God of this world has braided. The God of this world has braided the minds of them. The mind they have been braided their mind. Which believe not. Which believe not. Yes. That they cannot believe. Mm. That they cannot believe. Their mind has been braided that they cannot believe. Mm. And yet, that there are people who say ah, they are Christians. Yes. But they deny the reality of hell. They tell you there is no hell. Mm. They are Christians. But they tell you that there is no hell. And they reclaim how they know the scripture. Mm. Telling you that, that, that God cannot afford man, cannot create man, then he found man. Mm-hmm. That's what he did not. Mm. And they tell you that, ah, do you know, there is no even sin. Because if Jesus Christ came for because of sin, that means that there is no sin. Mm-hmm. So when we are sinning, that is the work of Jesus. Yes. So they don't believe on repentance. Mm. They don't believe on repentance. For they tell you that it was finished. Mm. So there is no sin. And you wonder, why did Jesus Christ tell the people that repent or perish? Mm-hmm. Why did he, when did Jesus Christ uh, forgive that uh, prostitute woman? She was told, go and sin no more. Yes. Why? Because there is still sin. You have been forgiven, but go and sin no more. Yes. Go and sin no more. Don't continue on sinning. Mm-hmm. It is true you have been forgiven, yes. but go and sin no more. But for them, they are saying, there is no sin. Mm. We have all been forgiven. Yes. So they live in the sin. Mm. That is dangerous. True. They have rejected the Messiah. Yes. They have rejected the truth. Yes. And they have denied him. Mm. The gods of this world have prided their mind, their heart, that they cannot know the truth. Yes. The right of the gospel cannot shine upon them. Mm. And they tell you, there is nothing that is too bad mm. that, like that the God of the world. Yes. That's why when we are preaching to people, that's why when we are we are teaching, we tell God, open the eyes of the understanding. Yes. Because some people are brightened. That God of the world bright their eyes, mm. bright their ears. Aye. When you try to explain them, they don't hear you. Mm. They wonder, what are you saying? What are you saying? When you tell them that this is idol, this is idol, do not, the Bible says, that thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. That is a law, commandment number two. Mm. And you tell them, the Bible says there, that do not make unto thee any graven image, in any in, in image of anything in heaven or on earth. Mm. You see? Mm. And those people, they are worshipping, they are worshipping those images, but they cannot see that it is idol. Yes. You tell them, read the scripture. It is written. They don't see. Why? The God of this world has braided them. Mm. That they cannot believe. That the light of the gospel cannot shine upon them. Mm. That's why. After preaching to them. After telling them. You must intercede for them. Mm. You must pray for them with a lot of wrath. Mm. That their eyes might be open. So that they can know the truth. Yes. Why? Those people, they examine the scripture. Yes. They sleep even with the Bible. Mm. They put the Bible like a pillow. Mm. So what are you telling them? So they have the scripture, but they don't believe. Their eyes are braided. 
It is like this Bible. You give a bride man. Will he be helped by the Bible? He cannot be helped by the Bible. Why? Because his eyes is closed. So he, he do not see. He need to be open the eyes. So let us pray for them that God will rebuke this God of the world. That his, their eyes will be open. Yes. And the scales in their eyes will fall. Mm. That they may be able to know, to hear the gospel, to see the truth. Yes. That's why when you tell them, they fight you. You preach to them, you become an enemy. <laughs> you preach to them, you tell them, yes, let us go. They say, ah, that, go, that goes to a, a, a devil worshiper, church. Mm. Yes. Why? The God of this evil world is telling them to be confused. Mm. That what is right, they call it darkness. Mm. What is darkness, they call it the light. Mm. What is cast, they call it present. Yes. So they do not differentiate between which and which. Mm. And that's become dangerous. Yes. Because the, the, the eyes become, it is nothing. If you, if you don't differentiate, that become, it's like they just have the eyes, but they don't see. Mm. They have the ears, but do not work. Yes. Praise Jesus. That's the, that's the spirit that is brightening the world today. That is the spirit that is brightening the world today. People claim they love God. But when you exercise that love of God, they don't care. Yes. Praise Jesus. Amen. People claim they love God, but when you exercise that love, they don't care. They don't need it. Hallelujah. Amen. People have denied Jesus Christ of the scripture. And they want to have another Jesus. That's why you see that the people are doing things that when Jesus Christ said that when you do something, do not show up, show up in the public. Mm. Do not even receive praises from men. Yes. They are doing opposite of what Jesus said. Mm. They, they are doing that. When they are helping, they want to take the selfie. They want to broadcast that you may know that we are helping. Mm. We are doing this and this. They are calling even the, 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 the media. The, the media, come, come and see what we are doing. They have denied Jesus. They have denied the scripture. Mm. That's why you see that today that when, when somebody is there and there is no camera that is taking him, mm. you cannot be helped. But let there be social media, a camera. Somebody is, 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 is taking you, is capturing you. Mm. They, they will help you. Yes. They will help you because they are being captured by the TV. Praise Jesus. Amen. But when there is no camera, nobody wants to help you. Mm -hmm. Even if they don't know you. But wait. When the, it is on right. Hey, they want to help you. They want to help you. Yeah. Praise Jesus. Amen. Yeah. That's what is happening. You hear that some people, they are being, uh, people are being corrected there. They were, they were seeking for help outside at the street. And nobody cared to, to, to help them. But wait the moment they will come online. They will come online. Ah, ah, people will come. Yes, I will support this man. I will build for him. I will do this and this for him. Yes. Did you see? Mm -hmm. When they supported Omosh? Mm -hmm. Did you see? Mm -hmm. You see? That's how they are doing. When somebody come and, and, and put them on the media, mm -hmm. you will see where we wishers, where we wishers. They are coming because they need praises from men. Mm -hmm. And you find that they are, they are building, they will construct, and when they are doing that, they, they come and say, yes, we did this for him, we did this, this is our company. They are doing that to advertise themselves. Sure. They do not have anything to do with helping people. All they have is advertisement. Mm -hmm. Praises from men. Yes. That is denying Jesus of the truth, denying Jesus of the, the Messiah. Mm. But they have received another Jesus who need the praises and, 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 and worship from men. Yes. And Jesus Christ said that if you do such things, you have already received your own reward. Yes. It is vanity. It is vanity. Yes. Because God look at the heart. Mm -hmm. He look at the heart and he see that you don't have a mind of worshiping God. But you have a mind of worshiping God because it is online. Or it, because it is, people are worshiping you. That's not worshiping God. Mm. Our God is being worshipped in truth and holiness, in spirit and truth. Mm. That when you are serving God, when you are worshiping God, when you are supporting, when you are helping, you are doing that thing knowing that I'm doing it for Christ. Mm. 
I don't have any, I don't want any, any, any praises from men. I don't want any recognition. Yes. I just want to worship God. Mm. I just want to give to God. Yes. And God receives that praises. He receives that, he receives that offering. He receives that, uh, that thing, that worship. And you become present. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The God of this world has befriended a lot of, a lot of people, mm. a lot of even pastors and churches that they are fighting the truth and they cannot know the truth. Yes. Praise Jesus. Amen. Let us be careful of that spirit. Because it's the same spirit that has brought for false prophets. Mm. False prophets. Yes. They are robbing people. But people they don't know. They are still following them. Yes. Somebody has been robbed but they are still following them. Huh? They have been raped, but they are still following. Mm -hmm. Their bishop is exchanging women, but they are still following. They are receiving the evidence, but they are still following. Mm -hmm. What happened? The God of this evil world is bribing them. They keep on following them because they don't see. Mm -hmm. And you tell them that this one, mm -hmm. they will fight you. They will fight you and they tell you that don't touch our united one. Mm -hmm. I see. Amen. Let us go back to the scripture. Yes. That we may not be deceived. Mm. That we may not be deceived. Yes. People are being uh, led and they are being led and by, by, by these gods of the evil world, mm. which is working together with the false prophets. Uh -huh. And there are those false prophets who have come. Mm. And they have come in the name of repentance. They have come in the name of Jesus is coming. Yes. They have come in the name of Eter. Let us be careful with them. They are leading people to confusion and even to deception. Yes. You had another one saying, hey, that, that nobody knows the day or the hour except expect, expect me. He's a prophet. I know the day. You see, and the Bible says that nobody knows the day or the hour. Nobody. Who is he? Is he a body? Is he a man or is an animal? Or is an even the Bible says, even an angel? Don't know that thing. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. So he, he claims he's greater, he's not even a man. Mm. Because the Bible says, no, but no man knows the thing. So he's not a part of man. Who is he? Praise Jesus. Amen. So we see that there's a lot of confusion that the people are coming with, saying that they are from God. Mm. Another day, you fight, you sow. But they're saying, oh, that you need to hide yourself, and they set the date that rock your house because there is three days of darkness. Mm -hmm. And don't come out outside because there will be demons mm -hmm. and they will tear you. <laughs> Spirit of confusion. Mm -hmm. And they are coming in the name we are in the end time. Mm -hmm. And they tell you to hide it. There is another circulating confusion and deception that is circulating right now. Mm -hmm. That Jesus is saying, that now sell your belonging and go for a hiding. Sure. Somebody was up me and he told me, brother, tell your followers to sell their things and to go hide in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for the fear of being vaccinated because they say that the vaccination is the mark of the beast, which is a lie, yes. because that's not what the Bible says. So they are telling people that sell your belongings and hide, go from hiding. They are saying that there is a hiding place. Mm. Now, I ask, which place can we hide? Uh -huh. Which place can we hide? Can you go to the forest? No. When that day come, in that time of the Antichrist, when in that day come of the Antichrist of the, of the beast, mm. there will be no run. There will be no run. The Bible says there will be no run. Mm. If people will try to go and to hide it under the mountain, they will not run. They will not hide. Mm. Because you'll be followed everywhere. Mm. Praise Jesus. Amen. We can never run. There is no safe place that we can go. Mm. You go to forest. Mm -hmm. You go and die there. Mm. You go meet uh, uh, animals and they will kill you there. Mm. You go there, then you, you, you will die of hunger. Mm. So those are deceiving spirits that are deceiving people. Let us not be be right by those deceiving spirits that are saying people hey, now because the verse oh hey, now because now go hide. Mm. I tell you, you be called. That is being called spiritually. Mm. You sell everything that you have, and they say now remove all your money mm. and sell and go and buy food and go there. You hide. Mm. Mm. 
Praise Jesus. Amen. Jesus is the only our hiding place. Yes. Our hiding place is only in Jesus. Yes. Whether we go where, mm. only Jesus Christ that we can hide it. Yes. Yes. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So we should not hear those deceiving spirit mm. because those are the same spirit that deceive, deceive people during the year in the millennium in 1999. In those years. When they are they, they arise a cult and they were saying that Jesus is coming and they set even the date mm. and they told people now God is saying let us lock our in our uh, ourselves in the house mm. and they they, they fooled themselves they burned themselves in the church mm. look at that the deceiving spirit the confusion spirit another one they told them that way and they were locking themselves in the house they were not going outside. So they say that the end of the world has come. Mm. And there is something that is falling from heaven. Mm. The deceiving spirit. The confusion spirit. Let us not be deceived. Yes. Jesus says that there will be the false messiahs in the end. Mm. The false revelations. The false vision. The false messiahs will come to deceive people. Mm. Praise Jesus. Amen. Let us be careful. My dear brother and my sister. Because Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. The true Jesus is coming. But before he come, the first Jesus has been sent. Many false Jesus that they have been sent. Many false prophets they have been sent. Yes. To confuse people. Mm. They have even confused people to, to believe that the day has already come. Yes. That's why Paul is telling them that let nobody deceive you that the day has already come. Mm. Because they were still there. Deceiving people. People are waiting for the, for the rapture. But they tell the, the rapture has happened. Rapture happened. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Amen. Yes, there are people who are who are hurrying the prophecies. They are hurrying the prophecies. They are quickening the prophecies. There are people right now are going to the hiding place. Because they have hurried the rapture. They think the rapture has happened there. We are going to the preparation. We the mark is there. So they think that the end has come. They have hurried the prophecies. They have gone beyond Jesus. And behold the word of God. Mm. That is the spirit of confusion. That spirit of uh, of, 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 of this world, of this God, the God of this world that has blinded many people. Be careful, my dear brother and sister, that we may not be deceived. Mm. And on top of that, they are working with this, with another spirit that is called the the the, the, spirit, uh, the, the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear. Mm. For when they are giving their prophecies, their messages, their warning. Ah, they are using the spirit of fear. When you feel fear, see now the end has come. Let us sell our belongings. Let us go to the mountain. Mm. <laughs> the spirit of fear. What does the Bible say? That God do not give us the uh, God does not give us the spirit of fear. Yeah. Yeah. But they are giving us a lot of fear. Mm. As if we are feeling, as if uh, uh, we, we, we can we can run <laughs> and go to the forest. That's not the spirit of God. Yes. Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew 28 20 that see, I am with you always, even to the end of age. Yes. Jesus has already been in the end. He is called the Alpha and Omega. Mm -hmm. So, what is that that is coming in the end? Mm -hmm. Jesus is already in the end. Mm -hmm. And he said, I will be always with you, even at the very end. Yes. The end of age, I will be there. So, why fear? Why fear? The spirit of fear that is leading people to fear. Mm. Praise Jesus. Amen. That's not fear. Because that is the spirit that is leading people to commit suicide. Mm. Yes, people to commit suicide, people to destroy their life. Yes, the spirit of fear. We need to think twice. We need to think twice. The other people I remember, I remember. A certain year it was 20, 2014, around 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. There are people 20, 20, 2015. There are people who believe that Jesus is coming in that in that very year. Mm -hmm. And I remember there is a certain guy who said he was doing university and he said, I am not going to school. Mm -hmm. I have stopped university because Jesus is coming. Mm -hmm. I, they stop schooling. There are people they stop even the, in the marriage. They broke their marriage because Jesus is coming. Lack of understanding. What does that have to do with the, with, the, with, with the Lord Jesus coming? Hallelujah. 
Amen. How does schooling prevent you from the kingdom of God? Amen. How does that marriage prevent you? So, they were breaking their marriages. They were not even going to school. They were not going even to work. Mm. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus said that nobody knows the day or the hour. Yes. So when they said the day, nobody knows the day or the hour. Mm. He told us to prepare. Not to say that he's, he, he, he will delay or he will not come. But be prepared. He may come today, right now, tomorrow. So let us be prepared. Yes. Yes. But his coming has nothing to do with I will not marry. I will not work. Mm. I will not go to school. Uh -huh. Life must continue. Mm. What does the Bible say? In the book of Matthew. It says, just as, as it was during the days of mm. Noah. People were married, giving in marriage. Working and doing what? So life continued. Mm. The, the, the same same way. You must continue with your life as you are preparing for the coming of Jesus Christ. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, don't tie yourself. Mm. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. You would marry. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. You would go to school. You would work. You would uh, look for a job. That's not the spirit of God. That's the confusion spirit of confusing your life. By the time you, your eyes will be open, it will be too, 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 too long. Uh, it will be too much. You are so much lost. Too, too much that it is over with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us not be deceived. Let us finish up here with the book of uh, uh, the Saronians. The Saronians 2.11. The Saron is to 11. Yes. Why are they rejecting? The, that spirit, we are speaking about the spirit of reject, and that spirit that is causing people to reject the Messiah, the truth. First or second? Yes. Uh, second. Second Thessalonians is to 11. To 11. Yes, you hear another dangerous spirit. And for this cause, and for this cause, God shall them, God shall send them spirit of uh, strong delusion. God shall send them Strong delusion. Strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. That they should believe a lie. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That for this cause, when you can start to align it, it says, even him, mm. even him who's even him mm. who's coming is after the working of Satan. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. Who is that? The Antichrist. It is called the Antichrist. The Antichrist spirit. Uh -huh. With with all power and signs and lying wonders. Yes, with all powers and signs and lying wonders. False prophet they are doing also. And with all deceiver, deceiverfulness. All deceiverfulness. All of, lying. Lying. Of unrighteousness. Or unrighteousness. In them that perish. In them that perish. Because they received not the love of the truth. Do you hear? They perish because of what? They, uh, they received not the love of they the truth. They received not the love of the truth. Or they perished because they did not have the love of the truth inside them. That they may be saved. That they may be saved. That's why they were deceived. Mm. Uh -huh. And for this cause. And for that purpose. Because God saw that they do not have the love of the truth in them. And for this cause. And for that purpose. God shall send them strong delusion. God will send them a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. A delusion is a lying spirit. Mm. A delusion is a right spirit, is a right spirit that you don't know yourself. Yes. You are de being deluded. Have you ever met those con men? There are people who can tell you they have met those con men. Some con men that uses spirit of delusion. They delude your mind, they confuse that you cannot know. They just greet you. And then you say, Me, I was just I, I just I was just shaped hard by that man. I, I don't know what happened the rest. I was robbed everything. Because they tell you, let us go. You go. Give me the money. You give. The delusion spirit. Yes. That the spirit will be sent to them. Mm -hmm. Because they did not have the love of the truth. So they will be sent that spirit. Whatever they will be told, yes, yes. They will follow. Let us go there. They go. Mm -hmm. They will be blind. They will be robbed. They will be defied. They never question. Yes. The spirit of delusion. What they are told, they say, Amen. <laughs> but they are not examiners. They are not even questioning. Mm. They are told here, what we say, you believe. Mm. Probably is to oppose what the pastor say, uh -huh. what the prophet say. Yes. <laughs> so whatever you are told, you say, Amen. Mm. You are told to eat the rat, you eat. 
You are told to, to, to drink the detergent. You drink. Yes. That's what they are being told. They are following every deception. Yeah. You are told to give your wife, you give your own wife. Mm. You are told to give your husband, you give your own husband. Mm. To give your children, you give them. Yes. Oh, the spirit of deception. Mm. The spirit of delusion. Mm. That's the spirit of Antichrist that is working right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that is a dangerous spirit. Mm. Because it will come to those who oppose and to those who do not have the love of the truth. Yes. Do you know there are people who do not have the love of the truth? Mm. There are people who do not have the love of the truth. They don't have the truth. Mm -hmm. Actually, when you start speaking the truth, they, they don't know. Yes. They don't know. Those are the people that will be deceived. Because they have rejected the truth, so they will receive the evil spirit. Because there is no how you can reject the Holy Spirit and reject the evil spirit. Yes. So you reject one, you receive one. Mm. You accept the one, you reject the one. Yes. If you, re you receive the Holy Spirit, therefore you reject the evil spirit. You yes. hate the evil. Mm. Praise Jesus. Amen. That's how it will happen. And this spirit is the spirit that is making people to reject Christ. The same spirit that is leading uh, uh, people to fight against uh, and to pro 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 persecute yes. the people of God. Mm. Matthew 12, 14. Matthew 12, 14. We see the spirit, this is the spirit that is making people to deny Jesus. Yes. Matthew 12, 14. Yes. It is says, hey. Matthew 12, 14. Mm -hmm. Then the Pharisees went out. Then the Pharisees went out. They went out. And they held a council against him. And they held a council against him. How they might destroy him. Look at that. Then the Pharisees did, did what? They went out. They went out. Mm. What is that spirit that was comparing them? <laughs> what that was that spirit that was pushing those people? Mm. Yes. They are now speaking on Jesus. They went out to, to, to speak on behalf of Jesus. Mm. They held a council. They held a council. Mm. How they will fight Jesus? Mm. How they will persecute him? Yeah. How they will fight him? How they, 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 will, him. they will destroy him? Mm. The same spirit that is heading a council. Mm. How will you destroy your life? How will you destroy your marriage? How will you destroy the church? Mm -hmm. How will you fight against the, the, the preachers of the gospel? Mm -hmm. The spirit of Antichrist. It is holding up a council. How will you destroy the church and persecute the people of God? That's the spirit of the uh, Antichrist. The delusion spirit. But the Bible says that they will gather against us but they will not prevail. Mm -hmm. That when they gather in their seven ways, God will scatter them in the seven direction in Jesus' name. Amen. That every council that is held against the church, against us, shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, we scatter it in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever the plan that they may be planning to destroy the ministry of the church, destroying your marriage, your family, will be scattered in Jesus' name. Amen. For he said that there is no weapon that is formed against the people of God shall prevail. Matthew 23, 13. Matthew 23, 13. Matthew 23, 13. Yes. But woe unto you. But woe unto you. Scribes and Pharisees. Scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven. For you do what? Shut up the kingdom of heaven. For they shut up the kingdom of heaven. Against the men. And against the men. For ye neither go in yourselves. For you, you neither go in yourself. Yes, they never enter themselves. Neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Yes, they never want to aid those people who are entering to enter. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying to them, those Pharisees and, uh, and the Sadducees, they oppose it. They kill the prophets and the apostles. Yes. And they shut up the door mm. for those that want to enter. Uh -huh. That's the spirit of delusion. Mm. They are rejected, they are rejected people to come to the truth Messiah. Yes. But for them, they are not going. Mm. They are rejected, they are rejecting and they are opposing people to enter the kingdom of God and for them, they will not enter. Mm. What is the use of that? They start in the gate mm. and prevent people from receiving the truth. Yes. Praise the name of God, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Those are the spirit that are ministering and leading people to reject Jesus and to deny the truth. Mm. Let us fight against them. When you are about to fall, when you are about to, when you are about to backslide, 
That is the same spirit that comes to you. You start, you start fighting against the truth. When you hear that they are preaching, when you hear, you fight against them. Because that spirit is operating in you. Yes. And you are about to fight, to, to fall. The spirit of Antichrist. Yes. Those people who participate and they fall, they are the most people who fight the gospel. Mm. Yes. And they start examining the scripture, to use the scripture to fight against you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us fight against that spirit of denying Christ. Mm. Let us fight against that spirit. And let us pray that those that are blinded, their eyes might be opened. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And let us also examine ourselves if we are fighting against Jesus. Yes. Let us examine ourselves if we are living in the truth and we are doing the will of God. Yes. Because we don't want to be like those people who are just following and examining the scripture they think they, uh, they will find the eternity. Mm. But then, they will not find. Mm. We want to be the people who are uh, obeying and doing the will of God. Mm. Practicing the scripture. Yes. Rather than just, just examining and just turning over the scripture. And he told them. And he told them. Luke 7, uh, 7 33. Mm -hmm. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drink wine. For John the Baptist came, came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. Uh -huh. And he said he had a devil. And he did. And he they said, said that he had a he devil. Had a devil. Look at that. The son of man, the son of man is come. The son of man is come. Eating and drinking. Eating and drinking. And he said. And they say, behold, behold, a glutinous man, a glutinous man, and a white Bible. And a, bar, and, a, a white viper. and a white a white viper. a friend of the publican and sinners. Look at that. Mm. That is how they rejected the Jesus. Yes. They rejected John the Baptist, mm. and they said that that man has has a devil. Has a devil. Mm. <laughs> and Jesus came without eating, uh, well, with eating yes. and drinking, for he did not fight, uh, fast. Mm. But then they say that this is a gluten. Mm. 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 Praise Jesus. Amen. So they never, they never had something to say mm. against you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. But now, the Bible says that now those are they. Now what about us? Mm. Now what about us? Yes. Have you received Jesus Christ? Mm. Have you received Jesus Christ? If you have not received, you need to receive that Jesus Christ. Yes. You need to receive Jesus. Mm. Don't reject Jesus. Yes. Don't deny Jesus. When persecution comes, when difficulties come, don't deny Jesus. Yes. Let us stand with Jesus to the end. The Bible says that only those who stand with Jesus to the end, those who persevere, those who endure to the end, will be saved. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let us stand on our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to tell Jesus Christ that he may give you the grace to endure to the end that you, you, that you will not reject him, that you will not deny him. The Bible says that see that you don't reject the one who speaks from heaven. Like how they rejected Jesus, they rejected God, and many people died in the time of Moses. For the same, same way they rejected the voice of God, they rejected the counsels of God. Tell the Lord to help you that you may preserve his way, that you may walk in his holiness, that you may believe in him, that you may not deny him because of food, because of racking, because of people, that you may not reject him. Tell the Lord Jesus to remember even those that are bounded, those that are blinded, that he may remember those that are blinded, that he may set them free in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, he is doing. His grace is sufficient. When we call him on behalf of our, of our family, when we call him on behalf of our people, our, our people might be bounded. Jesus can set them free. Jesus can set them free. 
When we call Jesus, those that are bounded, those that are bright, Jesus will set them free. Jesus will set them free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, God. We glorify your name. And we praise you, Jesus. For there is none like you. In the mighty name of Jesus. We do pray and pray. Amen. Mighty Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We glorify your holy name and we praise you so much for there is none like you, God, in heaven and earth. All the glory, all the honor we give unto you in Jesus' name. Know, Father, that you have spoken to us, Jehovah God. Father, through the word of God and through the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you and we magnify your name. Father, we receive you, Jesus Christ. We don't deny you, O oh Father, but we receive you, Jesus Christ, the same today, yesterday, and forever. In the name of Jesus, mighty King of glory, we pray, Jehovah God, for those that are abounded by the spirit of delusion, by the spirit of confusion, and the spirit of fear, that they may not know the truth. In the name of Jesus, set your people free through the blood of Jesus, through the grace of God, in Jesus' name. For you say that those that are yours, Lord, they will never get lost. They will never be deceived, oh God. We pray for your sheep, for your flocks that are bounded by the bride, by the bride spirit. Lord, may you set them free in the name of Jesus. They that are bounded by the false prophet, by the religion, by the false prophet, by the deception, by the false doctrine. We pray, Father, that open their eyes, open their mind, their understanding in the name of Jesus. Those that are bounded by cut, may you set them free. Oh God, they are some, they are our friends, they are our relatives, they are our family, brother and sister, and mother and father. May you set them free in the name of Jesus, through the grace of God, through the glory of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. We declare our freedom, we declare the setting of free in Jesus' name. You say through the scripture that the very reason that you came. You came to destroy the work of the devil. We destroy every work of the devil. Every work of false prophet. Every work of the antichrist. Every work of the worshiper. Every work of the enemy. Against the seed of God. Against the Christians. In the name of Jesus. And we declare, oh God, our Father. May you set free your people. And deliver them, Jehovah God. From every evil. In Jesus' mighty name, oh God. Father, we declare, God, that we will not get lost. We will not deny you, O oh God. By the grace that is sufficient, you shall you have given us. Father, help us, Lord, that we may not deny you, that we may not reject you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. Father, help us to keep uh, awake, O oh God, and to be vigilant even in on your coming in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of glory. We magnify your holy name and we praise you for the stand like you, God. You say that you shall never leave us, O God, even to the end of age, O God. Be with your people, wherever they are. Stand by them, O God. Protect them and cover them by their precious Holy Spirit, O God. For you say that you never leave us, O God. Father, in the water, Father, be with them, Father, that may not draw, O Lord, by the water. In the fire, be with them, Lord, that, 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 that like you are with Shadrach and Abednego, that they may not be consumed in Jesus' name. Father, be with us, O oh, even in the mountain and the valleys. You said you will never leave us, O oh, God, of us. Father, be with us in this entry. Cover us and protect us. Fight for us and provide us with anything that we need to stand, O oh, God, and to live. In the name of Jesus, we do pray and even believe. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. We may sit down in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God bless you, all of you, in the mighty name of Jesus. May the grace of God be with you and the peace of God be with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Let us clap for Jesus. Install the Apostle Simon Geshinga application on Play Store for the end time epistles. Writings of the last days with apostolic wisdom and revelation of the word of God that prepares the bride of Christ for the marriage feast of the Lamb of God. Beyond, the kingdom of God is near and Jesus Christ is coming soon. Install from Play Store and read the epistles. It's offline once you download.